Good day, brothers and sisters, near and far, One Nation Tribal Alliance and community. Today, I come to you with, I guess, an open mic to really express how I was raised and to tell you about how I was raised. People my age back home will hopefully see this video and say, yes, yes, this is what needs to get, you know, to be done. And it's not to tell them what to do or how to do it or when to do it. It's just sharing my, I guess, what's deep down inside my heart because I love each and every one of you. And to really to show out, to speak out. I don't need to step on anybody's toes. I don't need to tell you what to do. So, going back to the beginning of the way I was raised. I was raised back in the night, early 60s. As a child, you know, we had plenty of elders. Elders that would teach us, that would tell us oral history, oral traditions. Yes, there's a big difference between oral history and oral tradition. Oral history is what happened in the past that we need to keep up with. Oral traditions are how we do things, how things are done. And nowadays, you know, I remember, you know, going out and, you know, you don't just go out to play. You play when things around the house are done. We had chores like chop wood, bring the wood in, you know, go feed the chickens, go feed the pig, go to the farm field, you know, go do this, go do that before. And if there's plenty of daylight left when you come home, then you can go play. And at nighttime, you know, we didn't go out and we didn't go out causing trouble. We stayed home. After we ate, we sat down. And it was probably during that time that we would be told stories. Stories that was either our oral history, or tradition, or just storytelling time. And when we would receive the stories, it always had a meaning, whether it's a, you know, storytelling story, or if it's an oral history, or traditional story. And after we receive that, then we are told, you need to understand this, because one day you will be an elder, and you will need to pass this on. And I guess the way I look at it, there was a big generational gap that missed out of being elders. And I'm not blaming anybody, but I'm blaming nobody to say other than to say that was our parents. Our grandfathers and grandmothers gave us all tradition, all history. But our parents did not carry that on because my kids never got not one story, not one all traditional thing from my mom, my dad. You know, nothing was passed down to them. Now we come along and we say, okay, we are now elders. People my age, we say we are now elders. But what we learn, we try to pass down to our grandkids. But remember, our kids did not get this information from our parents. So we try to pass this on to our grandkids. Do they listen? No, they don't have time. They're too much into their phone, their notebook, 
or their music, their games, video games. And they don't have time to listen to us because they're too busy with other things that interest them more so they won't have to listen to you. Maybe this is where we messed up. I don't know how we're going to bring the old traditions back. You know, we talked about, you know, the generational gap. My grandpa and grandparents, my grandpa and grandma, during that time, we had plenty of fields out there, of harvest fields. We, Zuni at that time, was self-sufficient. I got to see that in my generation in the early years because I was out there, you know, hoeing the fields, watering the fields, harvesting the corn, harvesting the watermelon, harvesting whatever, you know. I was out there right after school let out. I was at the sheep camp. Sheep shearing gotta happen. Gotta go sheep herd, you know. Gotta go do this. Gotta go, you know, lambing sale, all this. And we didn't have a choice. We had to go do it because, you know, we were told you have to go do it. We didn't argue. We didn't bring out our tablets. We didn't bring in. We were lucky if we had a radio out there. But that's okay. I learned. And I guess, you know, by learning at my age, I tried to raise my kids the way I was raised. And my kids will be okay. And when I say okay, I mean they will be okay because the boys know how to cook. The boys know how to take care of themselves. And my daughter, same thing. So, you know, I can say my kids were different. But in order for me to be passing my stuff on, I have grandkids now. I look at my grandkids and I wonder what they would think if I start telling them some of the stories that was told to me it will be way above their head because, you know, a lot of the information that we pass on, do we pass it on with the love of spirit? Do we have a spiritual meaning behind it? Do we have the energy behind it? Do we have the vibration behind it? And what do we want the outcome to be of what we're passing down and is our audience listening or are they responding or are they going to carry on what we are passing down you know it's hard to really say because one can do not do everything it would take a team, and I say a team of elders. I have not seen elders talk about old times back home. I have not sat down with my brothers and sisters of age and talked about what we learned growing up. How do we start this again? How do we pass this information on? How do we stop complaining and doing something about it? Let's think about that. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be on a reservation. You know, we always hear the prophecies saying, this is gonna happen, that is gonna happen. You know, are we prepared? Are we prepared? You know, self-sufficiency. 
We need to bring that word back strong. And what does it look like? It's sad, but I can't do that on my reservation. I can't bring that word up. I go back and I look back there. Everything, everything is being pointing a finger on. That finger needs to point back and say, what are we going to do about it? Or better yet, what am I going to do about it? Again, I hope I didn't step anybody's toes. But if you can't control your grandkids, if you can't control your kids, don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. Blame what is out there. Because when I was growing up, you know, we didn't have social media. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't even have a computer, much less. When I was growing up, we had a radio, a little AM transistor that would tell you weather. But I love you all. And I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I will continue some of these little short clips in the future about different topics. And I just want to say thank you. And y'all have a wonderful day. And remember, I always love y'all.